Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi. My guest today is San Marino Ambassador Paolo Rondelli. Ambassador, thank you for being here today. Thank you. You know, your San Marino is one of the smallest countries in the world, of course, and you're completely surrounded by Italy. What are the main issues that drive your foreign policy? Well, obviously, uh, we have to keep the, the, the country safe and, and uh, full of freedom. That freedom was the, mm -hmm. was the word that guided our, our policy since uh, centuries. We have also the word libertas, that is the Latin for freedom in, in our coat of arm. So freedom, interreligious dialogue, uh, intercultural dialogue, and international cooperation, these are the main issues. Well, how do you maintain that independence and, and your identity? Well, it, this is quite strange. I'm, I'm also an historian, so it's, it's, my, uh -huh. it's my business, more or less. Uh, uh, just to interrupt on that, how long have you been an independent entity? Uh, well, we are the oldest republic in the world. This oh. year we will celebrate 1,700, uh, let's that's well. That's incredible. Thousand seven hundred. Yeah, that's seventeen hundred years. Yeah, obviously. more than thousand seven hundred years. So it's the oldest republic in the world, and uh, uh, it has been founded by the by the by the San Marino, that is a, was a saint escaping from uh, from the actual Croatia from uh, the persecution. So he, he came to the to, to the top of the mountain and reached the independence with a, with a small community of Christians and. But I think that the key point was during the, uh, the building of the Italian kingdom in the, in the 19th century. Uh, so uh, at that stage, uh, in uh, 1849, uh, we saved General Garibaldi, that was uh, then the hero mm -hmm. of the independence yes. of Italy and of the construction of Italy. He was escaping from uh, the collapsing of the Roman Republic and uh, he has been saved in San Marino. And during the, after, after 11 years, when uh, he built up Italy for the king of Savoia, the Vittorio Emanuele II di Savoia, uh, I suppose, we suppose, that he put a, the right word to the king to save, to save San Marino. Senator. Yeah, exactly. And before that, in 1815, during the Council of Vienna after the Napoleon campaign, San Marino was saved again uh, just because probably he refused, he refused uh, the enlargement offered by the Emperor of France, by the Napoleon. So we saved ourselves. You saved yourselves, but there's any but movement. Just with diplomacy. But there's any movement to try to incorporate San Marino uh, as part of Italy? Well, obviously, yes. Obviously, yes. We had in the past, especially by the uh, the, the, the state of the church, so the, the previous uh, state of the church, uh, due to the action of a couple of cardinals that oh. tried, yeah, that tried to enlarge the, the, the Stato della Chiesa, the so-called Stato della Chiesa with uh, San Marino too, and so they, they, they came to San Marino, they invade San Marino for a while by the Pope, but, but the Pope stopped them. So is there any movement on your part or in anyone in San Marino that think that you ought to join the European Union? Um, there's a big discussion and uh, uh, we are waiting, just the, 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 the captain's regents, the head of states, has to uh, sign the decree in, in these days uh, just to fix the date of a referendum, uh, of a referendum that will fix uh, the, the consultation of the population to vote for. Uh, if apply or not for the European Union. One quick last question. What are your objectives and any relationship you have with the United States and what are you doing there to encourage foreign investment? Well, uh, on, on this stage, San Marino changed a lot in the last years. Uh, we, um, we approved a lot of bills uh, to uh, fight terrorism, money laundering, and uh, to improve our legislation. And the uh, United States helped us. Uh, the Department of Treasury sent some experts to San Marino to train uh, the Financial Investigation Unit to, uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, so we are on, 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 on the same line of the United States with, with 
for for the for the to to, to fight the, the terrorism and the money laundering. And recently, very recently, less than one month ago, about 20 years, 20 days ago, uh, a new law has been approved. A new bill has been approved. Uh, for the development of, of investments. So there are some new provisions. A foreign can establish a resident and oh. can, uh, can move to San Marino with, with a development plan to build up a factory. Do you or have Rome? Uh, pardon? Do you have Rome? Yeah, we have it. <laughs> we have a lot of room. We have a lot of room. We have also a lot of buildings that, that can be uh, the, 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 the perfect place for a new for a new company established there or for a company owned by a foreign company and uh, and that that would be perfect so if uh, us investors wants to invest we are you're there ready for that okay well thank you for being here ambassador thank you so much i'm chuck and coney and this has been focus washington